to Michael Lothian, but Eastern Europe was mentioned, and uh, that is why I'm uh, very pleased to welcome Polish senator and the minority leader of the Polish Senate. He was also a former minister of defense of his country. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Bogdan Klich. Bogdan, uh, Poland, an important country, of course, one of the most populous countries uh, in the EU, has been mentioned a few times, both in a positive, but also, let's be honest, in a less favorable manner. That's why I'm uh, very curious to hear the view from Warsaw now. Uh, I'm very glad to be here, that's first, and uh, very glad also that uh, we have uh, good news uh, from this morning that there are Americans that believe in Europe. Not only Europeans believe in the future of the European Union, but also Americans do that. So it means that there is a chance for a renewal of the good partnership between Europe and the United States. That's first. Secondly, I'm not from Eastern Europe. I'm from Central Europe. And there is a difference between Central Europe that joined NATO, joined the European Union, when the Eastern Europe Euro Europe didn't do that. Yes, and uh, there is a huge difference also concerning the relationship to the values, the approach to the values. Such values that were at the beginning of the alliance in 1949 and at the beginning of the process of European integration. I mean democracy, the rule of law, civil liberties, uh, rights of minorities and uh, market uh, Market economy. Central Europeans believe in those values. Central Europeans, although there are governments that are eurosceptical and that are, let's say, undermine harshly those values, Central Europeans are committed to this set of values, once again, Euro-Atlantic values. In my home country, 84% of people are in favor of the, of the uh, future of the European Union, are satisfied of our membership in the EU. So please don't make, a, 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 don't put in an equal position society and the current government in Poland. This is the policy of the current government in Hungary and Poland, but this is not a position position of Central Europeans. Please remember about it. Now about Europe, because this is uh, what, uh, what we are talking about. Uh, we are in the European Union in a kind of paradoxical situation. Because on one hand, we are aware of, uh, of uh, deterioration de la of the political situation in our neighbors. I mean, in southern and the eastern neighbors. Eastern Europe and Mediterranean are in crisis. The first one, after the aggressive policy of the Russian Federation towards, uh, towards Ukraine, uh, we didn't expect, uh, in fact, that there will be a military invasion of uh, Russian troops to uh, one of the parts Russe, of uh, sovereign uh, uh, Ukraine, especially uh, after 1994, when uh, Russian Federation, uh, together with uh, Great Britain and the United uh, States, uh, guarantee sovereignty and uh, uh, territorial uh, integrity of, uh, of the country. But it happened. But it happened. It means that Eastern Europe and uh, even more in the Euro-Atlantic zone, uh, the existing model of security that was, once again, paradoxically introduced into the strategic documents of, uh, of the alliance uh, in November 2010, I mean, cooperative model of security was blown up, was blown up by this aggression of the uh, Russian Federation, because this model was based on the assumption that dialogue is much better than confrontation, that military confrontation was excluded from the vocabulary of our cooperation with the uh, Exclu dans Russia. le vocabulaire de notre coopération avec la Russie. Uh, la confrontation, confrontation uh, 
euh, existe et and existe after the illegal annexation of Crimea, après, after bien sûr, uh, having so many troops, plusieurs pratiques Russian illégales après l'invasion des region, troupes after and russes, after, uh, après, il n'y a pas pu avoir de solution concernant le futur de l'Ukraine quant à la souveraineté de l'Ukraine, surtout que la puissance russe s'est révélée être agressive et non conciliante après que la Russie ait décidé de démontrer son pouvoir et sa puissance aussi au Moyen-Orient en décidant de s'allier à la guerre contre en Syrie et de prendre part à ce conflit. Nous avons un set de menaces qui viennent de l'Europe. On voit qu'il y a un certain nombre de menaces similar situation donc, is in the southern neighborhood of, uh, of Europe, uh, although after the Arab Spring, uh, we witnessed donc, rather uh, asymmetric threats uh, than uh, conventional. Arabe, But uh, right now, after four years, uh, we have the instable uh, Mediterranean region, donc, uh, we have uh, failed states like uh, Libya, donc, we have uh, recovery of uh, authoritarian Libye, military regime uh, in uh, Egypt. Et nous avons seulement deux pays stables, l'un d'entre eux est en Égypte et l'autre comme le Maroc, comme la Jordanie, et qui sont des partenaires pour justement cette communauté euro-atlantique. C'est pourquoi, dans ce environnement déterrorisant, nous devons faire quelque chose avec nos capacités européennes et de défense. Il s'agit de faire quelque chose avec notre capacité européenne de défense. Il s'agit de faire quelque chose avec notre capacité européenne de défense. Should take more responsibility for its own security, more responsibility in the area of security. Now we are aware that we can deal politically with crises, variety of crises in our neighborhood, but we are not prepared to do the same using our military capabilities because we don't have crucial capabilities. Nous n'avons pas euh, de capacité cruciale qui pourrait être we need more planning pour gérer de telles crises. Nous avons besoin euh, we need davantage more de capacités de planification, de capacités opérationnelles et coordination between davantage de coordination, de meilleures synergies entre les aspects civils et militaires et des opérations que nous allons lancer en matière I would say that CSDP right now needs, uh, doesn't need uh, new institutions because we have uh, enough tools, sufficient tools that were incorporated into the Lisbon Treaty. After 2009, we are aware that we have permanent structured cooperation that we can use, that we have European Defense Agency that was, uh, let's say, uh, introduced into the treaty. We have battle groups, we have battle groups that were, uh, that were uh, prepared, but they were not used even during the crisis in Mali, although one of the battle groups at that time was on, uh, was on duty. So we have enough institutions, but we don't have enough political will to do that. So uh, I would say, and this is my first uh, say, significant uh, remark and expectation from uh, European leaders that they will be able to sign a a significant political message to the rest of Europe and the world that Europe is able to improve its capabilities concerning CSDP in the future. It doesn't mean that we need 
more a Europe everywhere. Ceci I'm very satisfied that you used this, uh, this, uh, this notion of more Europe because we are in different situations than uh, 20 years ago that we expected more Europe everywhere, working on constitutional treaty. But there are at least uh, two areas in which there is a need. There is a public expectation of more Europe. This is uh, uh, external security and this is internal security. The citizens of the European Union believe and need more Europe. It means more integration in those two areas. And uh, I don't want to say that uh, we need, uh, let's say, uh, that it is possible to improve European capabilities concerning counter-terrorism without uh, reviewing the treaties. Probably not. Probably it would be necessary to review the treaties and to prepare a new treaty to do it, you know, in this field. But we can do without changing our treaties in the European Union, renewal of our security capabilities outside. It means that CSDP, with the operational HQ, with the improvement of battle groups, with the improvement of research policy of the European Union that we were working together on the study about that, with the uh, even the new uh, battle groups concept, uh, the European uh, Union uh, is ready to do that. It is necessary to have the leadership, and I hope that after the creation of uh, new coalition government in Germany, the Germany will be together in, uh, with uh, France in this uh, leadership of this process. I hope that after the change uh, of, of the government in my country, Poland will join this, uh, this leadership as we propose such changes in the first and this in the second uh, Weimar letter. I was one of uh, the authors of the Weimar letters uh, uh, proposing in 2010 some of the solutions that are uh, being uh, incorporated right now. Thank you.